Hey friends, today I am going to send you on a texture scavenger hunt. So grab a piece of paper. I divided mine up into eight spaces. Um, you can use regular lined paper, you can use white paper, whatever you have at home. And I also grabbed a crayon. Any color is fine except white probably will not work on white paper. And yellow might not show up great, but if that's all you have, that's fine too. So I'm going to search around my room and try to find some textures by doing a texture rubbing. So what that means is I'm going to lay my paper onto the surface or object that I find that I think has texture to it. And then I'm going to take my crayon and I'm going to rub over top of it. So make sure your paper is on top and you're not drawing on the wall or on something you're not supposed to be drawing on, okay? Are you ready? Here we go. Okay, so I went around the room and I found texture from the center block wall, texture from the wood floor. I found a spot on the fire extinguisher door that I thought looked kind of cool. And then I also went over the storage label for my door. Now I'm gonna show you another way that you can do textures by different objects you can find around your house too. Here we go. Okay friends, so I found a couple textures around my classroom. Um, and did a rubbing of those. So the next thing I'm going to do is I looked around my classroom and found just some different objects that I thought had a cool texture to them. Um, one of those was a couple, pret a couple pretzels. So I'm gonna set those underneath my rectangle. Kind of scoot them close together here. Um, so you can use anything you are finding around your house. You could use cereal. I wouldn't recommend anything, like gummies probably wouldn't work very well because they're squishy, but you can find any kind of texture around your house. Mm -hmm. so there's some pretzels. See, I could also use this basket I found. That might be a little trickier if I'm gonna have to hold that onto there. One did not work very well that's okay um i could also use my lanyard see if kind of text see if that'll show up oh, yeah that's cool okay and then last Found this plastic little grate here. Put that underneath here. Okay. All right, guys. So I want you to go around and do a texture scavenger hunt. Like I said, you'll need a piece of paper. You will need a crayon. I would not recommend using white or yellow crayons. It would be a little harder to show up. And I want you to try to find eight different textures. Now, some of them might show up really well, and some of them might not show up as well when you do your rubbing, and that's okay. So I want you to try to find eight different textures, um, see what works best, see what has a lot of texture, what might not show up as well, and I wanna see what you guys come up with. When you are all done, take a picture of your texture rubbings and send them to me on Google Classroom. Thanks guys, have fun searching for textures.